Hello guys, Mark Shan here. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about picking and uh, I'm going to address a few things. I'm going to talk about picking technique, okay, to begin with. Um, <clears throat> what's the best approach if you're trying to pick consistently? And then we're going to go into different types of, of picking, like such as, you know, alternate picking, um, sweet picking, uh, economy picking. I'll tell you the difference and I'll tell you um, how you can practice it and how I use it. And my goal is to hopefully um, give you enough information uh, uh, to help you uh, improve significantly in your in your picking over the coming uh, weeks and months ahead uh, and hopefully you'll be more conscious about you know different things that you're doing as well so let's talk about let's talk about picking technique to begin with okay so um so uh, as far as picking goes okay i think we all agree that the goal is really number one to be as clean a picker as possible, right? We don't want it to be like sloppy, right? Number one. So we have to pick cleanly, consistently, clearly, right? So our playing is clear. Uh, and and obviously the most important thing also is that we have minimal noise, right? Because if you're, if you're picking and we have tons of string noise ringing out, right? Uh, as we are playing, uh, then, well, that's not good, right? So, so let's address a few things, okay? Um, uh, to begin with, as far as picking technique goes, let's talk about where the hand's supposed to sit. Okay, how you're supposed to hold the pick, where your hand's supposed to sit. Okay, so <clears throat> now uh, my pick, um, when I hold it, okay, um, the, the pick, if my thumb is pointing straight up, okay, my pick is pointing left of that thumb. Yes, right, left. Okay, so it's pointing straight left, okay, uh, my thumb and my, my, uh, my, <clears throat> my index finger, okay, uh, is supporting underneath it, okay. Um, and, and you know it does shift a little bit depending on 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 um, how I, I uh, what I'm doing with my pick, okay. Uh, but in general, um, it is basically pointing um, 90 degrees from my thumb if it's pointing upwards, okay. And I only have a little bit of it sticking out, like maybe like five millimeters or four millimeters of it. I don't have a lot of the pick sticking out, okay. So um, it's definitely not like that. Okay, you never want to hold your pick like this, okay. You know, we want it to be in your hand, and it's and it's firm. Okay, it's it's firm enough so that um, when I'm picking, um, you know, that the pick isn't going to fly on my fingers. Okay, and neither is it going to be flopping around. So that's really important. Number one, number two, the the, the the thickness of your pick is also really important if you're trying to play fast. Okay, rigidity is a really really important thing. Okay, if you're playing an acoustic guitar and you're just strumming, then you know a medium pick, you know zero you know, zero point five millimeters, zero point seven five millimeters is fine. Okay, but when you're playing electric guitar, I uh, highly recommend a pick that's more than one millimeter. Okay, but I would say one point, in this case, my, I'm using a 1.35 millimeter. Okay, 1.14 to 1.5, that's kind of like um, the standard uh, sizes, uh, the, the thickness that they have. So I recommend somewhere around there. Okay, um, so the next thing I want to talk about is also like where you rest your hand. Okay, so uh, you, you never want to be holding your, your guitar pick like this and then, you know, beginners and I've seen them, like, like they literally, the hands are literally like that. So it's floating from the guitar and the pick is also kind of like, you know, flopping around their hands. And so uh, by doing that, you don't get to control string noise. So that's the problem. So you need both hands on the guitar, close to the guitar to help you control string noise. This is absolutely key, right? So make sure your, your forearm is rested. Um, on, on the guitar like that, it's, it's, it's kind of clamping it so, it's, so you have support, okay? And then you have your, your, your palm is on your bridge. Whether it's a Strat or, or a um, Les Paul, it doesn't matter, okay? I, I, do, I rest it on, on the bridge no matter what, okay? And this gives me support, okay? And so when I'm picking, okay, um, the, the pattern, because of, of this pivot point, uh, it's a little bit like a rainbow. So I'm not going straight down when I'm picking, okay? I'm not going down straight, uh, like it's in the same direction as this, uh, pick up here. Okay, it's more like a little bit of a rainbow, a little bit of a round shape. So it goes like, okay. So you can see, if I, if, I, if I do this, you can see it's like a little bit of a round shape. So that's what naturally happens. Okay, that's what I recommend. So when I'm picking, I'm a little, naturally I'm, I'm going in a little bit of a circular shape, okay? So that's normal. Um, and so th those are the main things that, that you probably want to consider, like how you're holding your pick, okay? Um, the way you're placing your hand and the way you're placing your palm. So remember um, that, you know, we're trying to keep the, the guitar quiet um, while we're picking and we were trying to be as consistent as possible. So we're trying to minimize movement. And when your hand is floating, um, you know, a lot can happen, okay? But if your hand is, 
is uh, grounded to your to your bridge, uh, then your your the odds of you uh, moving around too much becomes very little. So you know, for example, if I play like an A minor scale right now, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you in, in slow motion, okay? Because uh, I'm actually moving as little as I possibly can. Okay, this is also called economy of motion. And um, I'll go deeper into this when I talk about, you know, how to play fast on the guitar. This lesson, I want to focus more on picking. Okay, so, um, so that's that for technique. Next, I'm going to talk about um, the different kinds of picking. Okay, so the, the first kind of picking is obviously alternate picking, right? Um, we have up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So a uh, simple way to, to, to demonstrate this would be uh, using a pentatonic scale. You need have two notes per string. So you go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? And, and then down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so you're alternating no matter what. Now, um, I, I, I'm not a, um, a believer that, that alternate picking has to stay the same throughout, you know, no matter what it is you're playing, because, you know, depending on what's going on with the song and what kind of notes you have on each string, um, it's important that you, you, you be flexible. And if you have to play, you know, down twice and you break that alternate streak, that's perfectly fine. You know, um, there, there, there are people that teach uh, that when you're alternate picking, you, no matter what happens, you have to go, you know, down, up, down, up, down, up, which means you have to alternate no matter what. So even if you're skipping strings or you're jumping strings or all of a sudden you're going from down here, to, you know, it's like, it's, 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 it's too, for me, that's too rigid and it's too, it's too unflexible, okay? And so, um, you know, do what, number one, gives you the most clarity in your playing, okay? Uh, consistency, okay, and speed. So if you're consistent and you, you, you're, you're very clear in, in, your, in your picking, and you can play fast uh, consistently, then you know you're good, right? So, um, for example, like if I play with a pentatonic, I'm so used to going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now I can go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down on the way back. So it's up, down on the way back, right? Down, up on the way down, and up, down on the way up, because uh, it's alternate. Um, you know, that for me feels a little bit weird. I can do it, it just feels weird for me. So um, when I'm going backwards, I'm still going down up. So I'm going down up, sorry, yeah, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, on the way down. Okay, when I come back this way, I'm also going down up. Okay, same thing. Okay, uh, that allows me to play very consistently, very fast. I've tried both techniques and, you know, I've decided that, you know, when I'm coming back this way, I'm still gonna go down up. And there's nothing wrong with that because ultimately it's about clarity, it's about speed, it's about consistency, right? So um, that's how I would practice it, okay? Practice it with, with your pentatonic scale. It's, it's a great way to practice because pentatonic is only two notes. So, you know, you, you, um, you're going to be mainly playing down up. So go down. So that, and that situation, I'm doing strict alternate, which means I'm not, I'm not changing it, okay? And now I'm going to change it to a different one. So... So I'm going down up for both down this way and this way. So um, yeah, so that's that's alternate picking. Okay, the next thing is called um, the next method is called economy picking. Okay, and I really like this picking uh, picking technique because it it saves you a lot of time. The reason why it's called alternate picking is because um, uh, it's why it's called economy picking. Excuse me, uh, is because um, you are actually saving time while you're picking instead of doing just strict alternate. Okay, so if I play the scale. If I play this A minor scale, okay, and if I was strictly only um, alternate picking, what would happen is I would have to go down, up, down, okay, and now I would have to go past the A string and go up, back, up, down, up, and then go down again, down, up, down, and then go past this string, the next string, and then up, down, up. And as you can see, it, it becomes, number one, very challenging to play, okay, uh, and it's also, I mean, for people that feel like they, they can be consistent and, and, and confident at playing, go by all means. But it's so much easier when you just go down, up, down, and then your pick is already resting on the next string, and you go down, up, down again. So it's down, up, down, 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 down. down, down. And, and the cool thing about it is that you get to rest your string, your, your pick on your next string, okay? It's resting on the next string, and then it's already on the next string. It's already on the next string. I pick is on the next string. 
Okay, so. See, so I, I can pick very, very quickly um, because I'm saving time from needing to, to go past the string and then come back up, you know, just to be a strict alternate picking. So um, an exercise that, that I would do um, is and to practice both, okay, here's a cool little exercise that I'm gonna give you to practice both, um, is using modal scales, okay, um, to, um, all, th th throughout the whole neck, okay, and we're gonna go economy downwards and we're gonna go alternate picking upwards. So uh, this kind of like simulates what it's like to actually play in an actual song, you know, it's, it's, um, it's gonna be a mixture of, of both, right, okay. So, um, you know, I'm gonna start with the Lydon scale, Okay, um, you can download uh, these scales um, from, from my chart. It's free download, just click the link below. And uh, I've compiled all the, the scale charts um, that I give my online students. I compiled it into, into a PDF and I'm giving that away for free. So definitely do download it uh, and practice this at home as an exercise. Okay, so I'll start with the lid in and here's what I'll do. I'm gonna go economy picking um, down this way and I'm gonna go uh, alternate picking coming back up. Okay, so I'll go like. gonna go um, economy picking again. Alternate. This is an exercise uh, that you can do. So you're basically playing, playing, uh, um, you know, all the modal shapes um, from, from, you know, from top to bottom, starting from your, your lid in, the mixed lid in, right, and then aeolian, lokan, and so forth. Okay, but you're practicing different techniques. And also, you can do the opposite as well. You can do alternate picking this way. You can do um, econ picking this way. Now, um, uh, you know, con concerning econ picking backwards. Uh, I do approach it a little differently because when I'm going down this way, I am going like, okay, my, my, my pick is resting on the next string already, okay? Um, okay. Okay, but then when I'm going back up, um, I don't rest my, my pick on the next string. Uh, it just doesn't feel super natural to me. Um, it doesn't feel very natural to me. <laughs> so what I do is I would uh, just kind of float the pick. Right. But basically the idea is up, down, up, up, down, up. So you, you just up, down, up, down, up, 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 okay? So that would be pretty much just the opposite of you going down. So you can practice that and work on your economy and your alternate picking, okay? Uh, as far as, as far as, um, you know, the, the, the psychological and mental side of it, you know, uh, don't feel like you need to be stuck in any one particular pattern, okay? Uh, depending on the difficulty of the song, the difficulty of the solo, and difficulty of the scale. Um, first of all, number one, try both. Try both techniques, okay? If, if one technique works, works better for you, stick with that, okay? If, if a combination of both techniques work for you, do it, like, seriously. Like, um, for example, like certain scales like, This is a very difficult pattern. Okay, uh, it's a very difficult pattern for me. So um, what I do is I go alternate picking. Okay, alternate picking. And I down pick twice. Down, up, down, up, down, down. Down, down, see? Up, down, up down down so i'm uh, in this in this in this situation with this with this difficult pattern i am as you can see i'm breaking the rules okay i'm not doing alternate picking this is not economy picking either this is kind of like a com combination picking okay um, okay, um and it's, it's in situations like that, you know, I'm just trying to help you open up your mind uh, and not feel like you need to be stuck because I've tried it with alternate picking and I'm just more comfortable doing it down twice. And so, and, and that allows me to play it um, faster than alternate picking. So, uh, and more consistently. So, 
Um, yeah, I hope this lesson has helped. Um, do you break out any you know, mental barriers that you may have you know, concerning alternate and, and economy picking? And uh, obviously like the last one uh, would be sweet picking. Okay, I like to do like, a lot of times I would like do solos where I'm uh, sweet picking and I'm, it's like a combination, like I said, you know, like I'm sweet picking and then I'm alternate picking and then I'm economy picking. So like, for example, like, let's say if I was to do an example for you, okay, uh, of sweet picking, alternate picking and economy picking. Okay, so I would go like, okay, so that's sweet picking, right? And then I can go alternate, okay, that is alternate picking. Then I would do economy picking. So that's a an example, and so when you're when you're soloing, it's 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 always a combination of all three. So you know I can never understand you know people that that kind of like um, strictly teach alternate picking and just one thing and not deviating or and not being able to mix and match. I think that's just way too um, too too rigid um, an approach to guitar playing because you know the, the idea here is that you know we have these techniques right you know, under our, under our hands and we can execute whatever, whenever we want. And that gives us, that's why we, we are dynamic guitar players, right? It makes us dynamic as a guitar player. So, so, you know, with all that being said, you know, remember that ultimately it's about consistency, it's about clarity, and it's about speed, okay? So, you know, whatever guitar solo is that you're playing, whatever part it is that you're playing, whatever scale it is that you're playing, you know, do, you know, experiment, like I said, you know, do practice and experiment with different methods of, of picking, okay? And if you end up with a combination, great, fine, you know? Um, and, and, and remember the idea is at the end of the day, it's like you're playing for an audience and you wanna be able to be as consistent as possible, okay? Um, to deliver the song and if, you know, and if, and if it's appreciated, they like the song, awesome, thumbs up. So, so that's my take. Um, uh, on picking, okay, if you want an exercise, because <laughs> I've given you an exercise on economy picking and alternate picking, right? Uh, let's do an exercise on, on sweep picking, all right? Uh, something simple, we'll start with, with an E and we're gonna go like. Okay, so. Okay, so this is sweep picking. The idea is that we are learning how to control our pick and, and move the, that pick in one direction um, based on what's going on uh, with with the notes that we're playing, okay? It's difficult, okay, it's different from playing a chord. It's totally not a chord, okay? Like, it's easier to just strum like that, but when you're controlling your, your, your right hand, okay, and you're trying to wait for the right moment to, to execute the next downstroke, trust me, it's challenging, okay? So, um, so we'll do an E minor. So basically, um, it goes like from um, 12, 12 fret, to 15, we're gonna hammer on, okay? And then we go 14, 14, with our ring finger, okay? And then 12, 12, 12, on the last three strings, and then, okay? And then 15 on that high E string, so. Okay, and then, okay, and then back to the same thing. So you can practice it. Okay, and the goal here is to practice and get used to just moving in that pick in just one, one direction. And remember, when I'm picking, uh, when I'm sweep picking, I am going down this way, which my, my pick is pointed up, okay? And then when I'm going this way, my pick is pointed down, okay? I am not, it's not straight, okay? It's not like, okay, why? Because you don't, you don't have as much of that flow, right? So like this, and so you're kind of like painting, right? You're painting a wall, same thing. So you're sweep picking going this way, and then like that, okay? So you're kind of like painting, okay? Okay, and then you can, and if you want, you can do major, and then change your chord. Okay. So you can kind of like play a chord progression with it and have fun with it. Okay, uh, for, for major, for this, for that, this is your minor uh, sweet pattern. Okay, and then if you want uh, a major pattern, okay, then you go to your D, okay, uh, which is your 10th uh, fret. So you go 10, 10, 14, 12, 12, okay, uh, 11, 10, 10, and then 14, okay? And then back again. Okay, 
things. So remember, when you when you come back this way, you just one direction, one direction this way, one direction this way. Okay, and then you practice. You can practice your cover question. So that's kind of like a song, and you can you basically you're playing uh, your first chord is minor, okay, on an E, and then you play your D major, C major, and then B minor, okay. So that's 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 a, an exercise that you can do, and do it slowly, okay. Get used to 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 doing it slow first. So yeah, that, there you have it. You know, I really hope that this um, picking lesson has helped you. Uh, picking is an art. Um, the reason why picking is so challenging is because, you know, you're, you're trying to develop speed, right? Uh, and one more thing I want to throw in there for you as well, um, as, as you are practicing your alternate and your economy picking, um, you know, it, uh, I put this camera here for a reason, okay, so that you can actually see my right hand uh, when I'm picking. Uh, and when I'm picking, if you notice, you know, I'm moving um, very little, number one, and I'm using very little bit of my pick, okay? I'm not using a whole chunk of my pick. Okay, you don't have half my pick trying to strike that note. It's too heavy, okay? There's too much resistance going on. So what I'm doing is I'm actually using just the tip, okay? That's why I'm holding the pick so short, okay? This allows me to minimize how much of the pick that I use. minimizing my motion, you know, you're going to miss some notes, right, as, as you're trying to pick fast, right? But the idea here is that we want to make sure that we consistently use the tip of our pick, okay? So that's my uh, final tip. I hope you enjoyed this video, okay? Um, uh, do download the charts um, that I've given you for free and use it to practice um, the, the modal uh, pattern progression that, that, that I showed you. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Um, hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you again real soon.